You're lucky you chose us two because we like. We, we actually bond. We, we we game we game every day <laughs> together, so our communication should be on point. <laughs> it should be. All right, first question. What's up? My first tat was actually my last name on my arm. And when I, was, I got there, I was a little nervous. I remember I was sweaty hands, you know, like I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, for sure. Then I started and I was like, oh, that's not too bad. I got my parents' uh, birthdays and Roman numerals on, my, on both, both sides. And I was just dabbling a little bit because my dad's tatted as well. And he always said, whenever you want to get a tat, I'll come with you. So whatever age. I like looking clean, cut clean at the, the top. I like that aesthetic. I like the ta hand tattoos and I'll live with what I have and don't judge a book by its cover basically because sure. at the end of the day, like I think people see tattoos sometimes on the neck and the face and the art hands. I'm a professional soccer player and I have hand tattoos, neck tattoos, and it doesn't mean anything. It's just, it's what we like and how it likes the look of us. My favorite has to be my back. Your back. The one that hurt the most is my favorite, which is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Because as you can see, I have uh, tigers, lions, bears, animals, and I always wanted a big lion on my back. And, yeah. and I was like, you know what, let's just go big lion on the back and then just do an owl on the bottom. So then the people laugh because when I like, when I grab my shirt to dry off, all you see is little eyes just peeking out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's definitely my favorite one so far. My favorite tat is, is the Jesus I have on my arm. And it's a, uh, a photo that my dad had in his, room growing up like as protection and he passed it down to me and now I've passed it down and it's in my daughter's room so it's, it's awesome. really special to me and if the face was off bro I would I would regret it for the rest <laughs> of my life bro like that doesn't look like the photo in my room so I was so particular about it this this rose here these are the two islands the north and south island of New Zealand and we hid it in there and like no one would ever see that but I know it's there L like yours see? like a lot of people don't know that's there but Every time I look down, it's like New Zealand's there. I got the Uruguay flag here. Yeah, nice. So like I did this one. This one's basically like family and stuff. I have my, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister's name on it. Yeah. Um, with the hands that says family on it. I have a Bible verse that says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord. And obviously my faith means a lot to me and Jesus means a lot to me. He's my savior. And if you ever see me score after the interview, I say, thanks to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Like, that's a huge part of my life, the biggest part of my life. So I got good artwork done and it can draw people in and say like, look, this is what's important to me and, and I can um, talk to people about it. But like a diamond, I just liked how that looked to be honest. <laughs> like, so. Another one I like is actually is my hand. Mm. It's a hand with an eye and it has a little soccer player on it. And the reason I did it is because we all have a dream and my dream was to be a professional soccer player. So then I got it tatted on the side and it says dream, believe, achieve, which is my three main words that I always use no matter what. When we were little, we were dreaming, we were going to bed with a soccer ball under our hands and, and dreaming that we wanted to be a professional soccer player. And here we are now, we're living our best yeah, life. For sure. Or working at what we love to do every day. So we can't complain about it, but there's still a lot more that we can achieve in our yeah. life.